Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to show you how to install um, Proton VPN, the new version of Proton VPN um, connect connecting. So as you can see the previous video, um, while I am installing Proton VPN command line tool and I have encountered the SSL problems so I have already solved it so let's run uh, it again so at the previous video I have told you to install Proton VPN from this link right here so in the new version of this website it already have this line we strongly recommend using our linux vpn command line tool which make it easier to connect on linux machines so you can click on this link right here or you can um, straight away click right here so let's um i have already opened it right here so this command line tool in it has already ha have a version 2.0 so this is the instructions so on arch linux or Bunjaro you can run this command so what basically you want to do is install the dependencies and the proton vpn client so in my case peppermint os ubuntu so what i'm going to do is copy and paste the command so copy and paste it So as you can see, I have already downloaded it. And the next move. So at the last video, I have already installed Proton VPN client. As you can see the previous video while I'm solving the SSL module on Python. So copy and paste for um, video purpose so as you can see requirement already satisfied so right now I am just going to run the Proton VPN command so at the outdated version of connecting to Proton VPN manually um, you need to type in the VPN file and connected using your using your um, Proton VPN ID and password. So in this case, you just need to initialize your Proton VPN profile once, and you can connect to it without inserting your Open VPN profile every time you connect. So let's try this once so first as you can see here proton vpn init okay so it needed to run as root so as you can see here um, i have already initialized a my profile so in this case um, for video purposes I am going to overwrite that profile so yes so um, if you uh, n newly installed this client you will see this oh sorry right 
um, like this. So, enter your Proton VPN Auto Open VPN username. So, where you can find this. So, um, we are going to open a another web page protonvpn.com and right here you will need to sign up if you haven't um, created a account so in this case I'm going to log in So, if you want a detailed um, installation of Proton VPN, you can head to its GitHub page as listed right here. And this is the usage guide. And this is the example installation of Ubuntu 18.04. So, what you are going to do is log in. So I'm going to um, skip this on the video. So once you log in, you will see this page. So what you are going to do is go to the account and scroll down, or you can um, in a new version of this website, you can just click on this open VPN slash IKE version 2 username so this is the username and this is the password so right here you will just need to copy this and paste it right here enter and the password so right here and paste it Um, so I'm going to manually copy it. I will skip this. Oh, so I have just remembered that it won't show up right here like this, and um, it will just blank there. So in the first place, I have already copied it. And I didn't realize it is there. It was there. So I'm going to paste it again after backspacing a lot of um, invisible words. And then confirm. So in my case, I have a free Proton VPN plan. But if you have a basic plus or visionary plan, you can just. Um, type in 2, 3 or 4. So in my case, 1. So choose the default Proton VM VPN protocol. So in this case, we have two kinds of protocols, UDP and TCP. So we are going to use UDP because it is faster and because it is the default protocol. So, one. So, you entered the following information username, blah blah blah, password, blah blah blah, tire, free, default protocol, UDP. So, in my case, this is correct. But if you see the username or pa password length is not the same, um, the default. Um, username and password it is not the same length and it is mean your information is incorrect so in my case yes writing configuration to this and done so let's see what we can do after connecting so right here let's try to connect So 
to you can manually um, pipe proton vpn and this is the list of command that you can use but before um, running any command you need to type in sudo so let's try this proton vpn connect or simply just uh, C. so now you can manually select the um, the server so I'm going to um, cancel first because I'm going to show you another way of connecting um, so okay never mind so what you can see right here is is um, uh, whatever it doesn't show right here but I'm going to um, teach you the fastest way to connect so put on VPN connect dash F so it um, automatically connects to the fastest server the lowest pins and right here this is the fastest so okay so I have um, not seen this uh, sorry I didn't see this the fastest right here so now it is connected so an L um, I don't know what country is that but I'm going to find out so let's open up a Firefox browser it quite it takes quite some time and here we go so let's type in my IP So right now it's loading and okay so NL is Netherlands so as you can see here my IP address is 192.4.0.5.7.1.1 and Netherlands um, but this is only IPv4 let's check out IPv6 the version 6 of IP address so what you can do is head to this website you simply click it And as you can see, oh, IPv6 is not detected. That means it is disabled. But as you can see here, country Netherlands, and is right here. And I haven't disconnected it, so it means it works. So let's close this. and as you can see here it works so if you want to check the status simply type in S and enter and as you can see here status is connected and the running time is 3 minutes IP server the third server of Netherlands features normal protocol UDB blah 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 
so as you can see this tool right here is very very simplistic and this is the tutorial so thanks for watching if you have a question you can just you can just comment down below and stay tuned for another tutorial goodbye